has been a minute, y'all. It's been a minute. Main mission. What's this? I'm gonna wait, just because it's telling me to wait. You're here. Brilliant. Well, I, I guess we're talking to Sebastian, just because he's here. It was easy. It was convenient. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. Ominous. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. It's like the uh, security cameras of the wizarding world. Right. Am I right? One momento, sir. Shit. Okay. Can't go uh, do another quest outside of a quest. Oh, there probably down this way anyways. Good luck. Right? Lumos. Time you right now to find a butterfly. I'm taking a shit. What are you doing here? Oh, it is right there. I think I can get it. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> eh. Stupid. This way. Okay, let's go. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Right, babe. Hasn't stopped us oh, before. nice. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good also, luck. Also, loof above me. What are you doing here? We've come to chat. Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, She'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. 
Yeah, aren't you a bit curious, sir? But I understand your caution. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Yeah. Sebastian, Would have been your middleman. Why are these lit up? These braziers grant access. Incendio! Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. Accio! Told me what I needed to hear. Hmm? Opening the entrance has something to do with it. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics on this. Okay, so he's here. Journal entry signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. Queen Guardian Leviosa. She was my aunt. Repair. You knew? Didn't tell me. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient, sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. I'd like it's the ability to talk to dogs. Dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Although that could be annoying, you know, maybe they're a little over giddy, but I don't know. You know, then I can tell that little asshole when he shits on my floor. Hey, what you do that for? What'd you do that for? Huh? I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. Do it. It worked. Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. I can do that too. I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Right. So came from, it closed. Start talking to some snakes. And breaking and some pots. Closely at each gate for clues. Lumos. See anything? Look at that. Brazier. When the door closed, it lit up. The 
This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. A dial requires focus. Our Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Hmm. Okay. There's a pattern on that door, right? It's far over here. Uh, some sort of bull or tail or something. So this thing, and then. It looked like it had a tail on it. That thing, there you go. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself. Awesome how that but works, right? First. Crazy. <laughs> you were you weren't going to do shit. You were sitting there squatting. <laughs> Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Okay. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard uh, was pyramid rewards. thing Go. and uh, jellyfish. We've got more to Chesticles. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Right. And most importantly, break stuff. Huh? There we go. Um, what was I doing again? Triangle, left facing jellyfish. This guy here, probably. Oh, wait. Does that be this one? So we'll say. Uh, snake and a snake, or dragon and a dragon, with the uh, sun and moon. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Word. Nice work. Yeah, he wouldn't have been able to do shit anyways, because he needs my help. It's amazing how she conveniently um, left notes around for people to find, and they're like in pristine condition. I already forgot what I was doing. Uh every dial seems to be getting more difficult. But we've made it this far. Not more difficult. I'm just dumb and I can't remember what the heck this door was. Eh. Right, triangle, left facing jellyfish. Easy. Easy peasy. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. I spotted something ahead. You're still being lazy, man. Yes, three heads better than one when it's just my one that's doing all the thinking. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. On 
ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here. She died. Locked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Shut Honestly, up. I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's clearly a hole right there. Like, we can do a flare or something to get out of here. So, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Come on. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? Sure, whatever. He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Of course, I'm being the, the middleman between you two anyways. Oh, like... avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. Like that weird He's couple that broke up and now they're forced to do an activity together and they just don't want to speak. And I Awkward. The Cruciatus curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as Ominous sounds a little jealous, doesn't he? Family. Unforgivable curses won't Sebastian's mine, really Ominous. Mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Dude, why don't we just all have a powwow instead of me going back and forth stupidly like this? What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if We're talking normal. A better option than casting a He's like... Spell. Six feet away from us. us. Pretty can sure he can hear Crucio, talking. Or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. Uh... Yeah, fuck it, I'll cast it on you, dude. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio, hold on as long as you can. It's a little ziggity zag. Ready? I'm ready. That door just folded like it was a Are piece of cloth. Right? That pain. I would have done anything to make it stop. But I'll survive. Yeah, yeah. Rebellion. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Is that? I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Mm 
<laughs> There's like somebody uh very important in here. What do you think? Looks like a spellbook of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have done it. We must swear never to do this again. Confringo! Oh. <laughs> Just push F and I just head away from him. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. See ya. <laughs> Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Easy. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Word. Her aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. Yep, here I be. I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? Sure. I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere. And Sirona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm. He hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. You see that? You want to break my neck like that? Ranrock is searching for something. I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity. Goblins and wizards, I surmise. When visiting my portrait at my castle. He looks tired. Rockwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. Hmm. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? Dark wizard. I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. 
I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Yeah, so you can do some, or are you just gonna stand there stupid? You just gonna meet there, give me a pep talk, and then just chill? That's right, he is, because he can't do anything. Because I am the chosen one. Only I can bring peace upon this land. Only I can defeat all evil. Not Fig, not no one. Just the chosen one with blue hair. Tis I. See more butts. Uh, okay, where am I going? Floof. Dang. It's way out there. Can't loop out there. Call upon Yes. This is a much cooler way of traveling rather than having that freaking broom between my legs. Those gotta be the three stars right there, right? Yeah. There we go, nice. Eight 
Easy. Tell me, guys, how do we get in? Hmm? What other way is in? Besides the front gate. Oh, knowing rams. Bestow upon me your knowledge. Yes. Okay. All right. He said he has a bad feeling about this. I don't care. Uh, um, sit down. Give me a tent like this for when I go camping. Awesome. You can't stop Red Rocks from hmm. in. I feel as though you're not even trying. Okay. be so much easier if you could just levio lo low so yourself like we're both here right can't you just give me a give me a boost wrong one Excuse me. Huh. 
Easy. We're in. If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the I country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a Keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, Bring me the child. Man, he's ugly. We already knew they were after you. But now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Hmm. Huh. Fuck, you saw me? Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? That was bullshit. Damn. Fuck. Fuck. All the money, money, monies. And wigan welds.
What's with the image of the skeleton on my map? Like, what is that? Bam, 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 bam. Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. They must be small, huh? Small, small tracks. <laughs> small tracks. So goblins, you know. Dang. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Ranrock's power. Ah. It looks empty. Let me just walk into if it. They've taken all of it. Why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found. And if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? I don't know. Keep wandering, I guess. I heard something. I it... was hoping that was you. What? Oh. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And, sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Sir, surely I've proven myself. In light of what's happened, perhaps you should tell me everything now. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. Be gone! Be gone, fig! Be gone! I would join you if I could. No. No, you wouldn't. He's just trying to get the the accolades, you know. He's just trying to. Why even come? I did most of the work, anyways.
cool. This is where something attacks me. Oh, that's sick. Dang. Wish I had this floor in my kitchen or something. Position that pillar to climb out of here. Perhaps the archway is the answer. Probably. Dark magic. and mirrors man smoke and mirrors so if I go through one direction there's that Climb on that. Bull. That makes sense, right? Accio. Accio. On top of this thing. the uh the end of the vision dang it dang it dang it dang it dang it dang it open the I gotta reposition this pillar. I can't move that pillar, I can move that. And then if I go through this way. Chest now? Crazy stairs. Just waiting to 
fight some booze. Slots are full. Really try. I know. I was leaning back in my chair on that one. Okay, I was taking it easy.
<laughs> I believe I need to proceed to the left here, but how? I shooting that thing. Stupid. We jump and I to hit the mark on the far wall. I did. What sort of thing has repositioned the archways in the past? Yeah, that's funny. That's what I did. Goes back and forth, though. I need to uh, somehow change the marking. Oh, there you go. Did it. Who are you throwing that at? Oh, he's invisible. Ow. Fuck you.
jump. Shit. Almost missed. Freaky deakiness. Oh, maxed out on Wigan Welds. Good for me. Bad for the bad guys. Alright, what giant statue do I have to fight this time? Oh, shit, they're on. Crap, half them are invisible. Fuck you. Fuck you! Let's too focused on trying to kill the big guy first.
No! Oh my god. Casting my spells and I backed up off the ledge. Thank you. I don't know how to avoid these things.
There's like no avoiding that shit. Destroy that. I bet you I had to hit it with the same color. That was stupid. Hit that orb with the same color of uh, spell. Then it would have destroyed it. I wasn't thinking. I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in? I don't trust her. Please, have a seat. She got crazy all over her face. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain.
It's gonna make him forget. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. He's powered by fear. Negative emotions that are stored. again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of... well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. Oh, very well. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. <laughs> oh, it is now winter. Cold as balls out there. All right. That's a good place to stop, guys. We'll continue on in the next one. I'm sure I'm going to get like bombarded with a bunch of owls right now. So, shh, don't listen. Um, wherever you are in the world, have a good day, have a good night. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.